on this episode, I drive a forklift. Let's go! Then I play with some fire. And I almost break my hood. Morning, boys. It's currently 6 18 a.m. And time to get to work because we have a lot of work to do today. We have a complete trash truck to replace. It's really early. The sun hasn't properly come out yet. But hey, somebody's got to do it. We have arrived at uh, my favorite breakfast place. Dun, 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 dun. You know, boys, you gotta get the mood up going in the morning because if you tackle these kind of jobs with no energy and no mood, you're not gonna get done. Breakfast of champions. You see the ham, the egg, and the burger down there somewhere. Oh boy. Okay, here she is, the client. You gotta open this hopper to see if it's clean enough. Come on, Key. There you go. guy who washed this truck beats like this, I feel sorry for his girlfriend. Nope, those ain't rice, that's worms. Okay, so it wasn't properly washed. There's a lot of worms still in there, so uh, let's go give it a once over real quick. Get in the shop. As you can hear, I'm losing patience because this truck has to be done for today. It needs to work tonight. This should have been properly washed. I'm pissed. Finally, we got it in the shop. You see those locks over there? Those are safety locks. You need to press those up so this thing doesn't crush you. But this one won't budge. We are losing precious time over here. You see, this side works fine. Get your hammer out, boys! Shit! You gotta use your imagination.
There goes the boat. And to place. Locked and safe. Let's get to work. Be free! Okay, boys, here she is. We're gonna cut out uh, the whole plate in there. That one started from there, all the way there, all the way to down here somewhere. I replaced that whole panel. Cut out the top part first. Maybe close the hopper or I'll get in there. Cut out the rest, then bend the plate. Put it in place while it is. Let's get going. Try and weld a hook around here and pull it with the overhead crane. Let's see if that goes. All right, it's coming along. In my defense, my welds didn't fail. The plate broke. Time to charm. This two-ton overhead crane saved me a lot of time wiggling and jiggling this plate. That's what we need. And 79. I think it's way more than 79. It's almost perfect. Alright. That's what we need right here. Okay, in our template we have two. One four over here. Alright. What we want to do is Remember, this, this, this is just a template. It's a thinner piece template. I think this is the angle we need. Something like this. We a little bit more.
Okay, let's try this out. If I get this angle right, I can just copy the angle on the actual plate. don't need no fancy bender to straight up the plate. Just hit it on the side. All right, this is, is kind of good. But we need this piece to be shorter. We need this piece to be shorter. It's almost two and a half, so two one quarts. It's perfect. Yeah, man. Of course it is. Be honest, how reliable is your shop forklift? This thing you need to be a NASA certified to operate this thing. Press the button here, push this lever over here, then you can start it up. But this thing still bursts like a kid. Body shop, metal shop, why do you keep calling body shop? It's a metal shop. Welding shop, man. Here you go, baby. It's alive! Alright. Okay, baby, let's go. It's a bit soft, but I think it's gonna work. Well, okay, let's go back to the shop. Give it some nitro. Perfect. Boys, so this thing's gonna be heavy, so we use our imagination. As my supervisor like to say, think with your head, not with your ass. Well.
There she is. There she is. All right, boys. So we got the plate nicely in place. Mark down with a marker. Gonna move the bit up on this side. Then we're gonna open the hopper, weld it up there, and fit it nicely. What I'm gonna do now? <coughs> what I'm gonna do now is jump in the bed, tack the plate in place, and all of the lines. Put it in place, then open the bed, press it with C-clamps, and tack it, tack everything when I'm happy with it, and I'll weld the sucker in. Let's get it on. Upside down, uh, I mean, just C's. This is the C, like this. This is the fill, fill weld. Then I'm gonna grind it, make it soft, make a nice edge, do a cap, and then send it. Those are trashy welds for a trash truck. At this point in time, I was getting tired, it's hot, and the machine is just not having it. Yeah, the wire. We ran out of the wire. A stuck guide. Now we're fixing it. It's already 3 o'clock, but we need this machine to be up and running and get the job done. Alright boys, we're back in business. Inside the hopper is done, so the upper part is done. Not the best welds in the world, but this will hold. Only buddy is gonna see these welds is the track. Let's get this job done, big boys. Here she is, find a product. Thanks to Myron for helping me out. He did those on the sides, those on the sides. I did the bottom piece, but we are done. Trash truck is done. Time to go home, drink some beer. There you go. That's a wrap boys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.